Now I've got another general mayfly nymph pattern for you today, and this is one of those where we don't really know who created it, because it was probably created by lots of people. Hello everybody, welcome to Savage Flies. I'm Matt, thank you for stopping by. So the pattern I'm talking about today is a blue wing olive nymph. Again, it's just a general mayfly type pattern. We all know the blue wing olive. It's a mayfly that, that lives in lots of our trout waters. It's a pretty small bug, typically a 14, 16s, or 18s, and likewise the nymph is pretty small too, so I'm going to be tying this on a 14 today. Now, a quick update before I get into the tie. It is April 2021, and the channel is officially one year old now. And one of the goals I had for the first year was just to tie as many videos as I could, really build up that library, and for the last several months I've been able to do about four tying videos a week. And I was able to do that pretty regularly throughout the first year, but starting now, this week, I'm going to go down to two new tying videos a week. I'm going to publish them on Tuesdays and Fridays, and then going to reserve Sundays for videos like, you know, book reviews or tool reviews or vice reviews. Now, there are a couple of reasons why I'm going to do that. First off, I'm just not a machine. Making four videos a week that take about four hours each is a lot of work and it will give me the time to really focus on the patterns that I do tie. I'll be able to research them a little bit more, maybe even tie some more intricate patterns, and spend a little bit of time on this whole video editing process. A year ago from today, I didn't know the first thing about how to edit a video, and slowly I've gotten a little bit better and learned a little bit more throughout this first year, but maybe I can take it to the next level, and in 2021 start making some you know, really cool looking videos. And one other thing before we go, I know a lot of you folks have been uh, waiting or asking about the fly tying contest. We're still going to be doing that. I'm working out the details right now with, I've got three judges that have volunteered. So we're just going to figure out how exactly we're going to do that. Basically, it's going to be a tying contest with the big winner being the Regal Revolution Vice. We're going to do a fly swap, but we're not going to do them at the same time. We'll do that maybe a couple months later. But for the contest, if you're interested in that, stick around. We're going to be announcing that in the next week or two, I promise. Okay, that's enough background. Let's get into today's fly, a pretty cool, very simple blue wing olive nymph. So there's one in the vise, a pretty common looking mayfly nymph. This one is a blue wing olive. Now, common sizes for a blue wing olive nymph are 14 to as small as an 18. So I'm tying this on a 14, it's a 1X long nymph hook, and I'm using brown thread. This is a 70 denier. I'll lay a base down to the start of the bend. Now I am going to have a thread rib, but one strand is not really going to be thick enough, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that one off, and then pull it out, make a little dubbing loop, maybe four inches or so, and then catch that in. So I will have two strands to make my rib. And I'm just going to park these two strands back over here with my magnet. That will be fine. Now let's take the tail. Just a flank feather. Uh, you know, it could be a teal or mallard, whatever you got. And this one's a dyed wood duck. So I think the, the wood duck color is, you know, appropriate for a blue wing olive. You know, it's a kind of a brown and olive uh, yellow type bug. So it doesn't take many of these and we're not making them very long. So that's about eight or nine fibers and maybe a hook gap long, maybe just a little bit short of a hook gap. So a couple wraps right there. I think that's gonna be just fine. You can either snip this excess off or just bury it. I'm just gonna go ahead and bury it and take my thread back to where I'm gonna start wrapping the body. Put a little wax on here. And the pattern recipe calls for a light olive. And I didn't have a light olive in Rabbit. So what I took was um, kind of a tan light ginger and then just mixed in a little bit of olive right there. So this is probably uh, more tan than olive, but I think this is gonna give us the right color combination. So just dub this on here pretty thin, just enough to get us up to about two thirds of the hook shank.
Okay, get a little taper if you can. I've got more of a lump there than a taper, but you know what, I'm gonna live with it. And we can probably compress that down just a little bit with this rib we're gonna wrap. So be careful not to jostle your, your uh, tail too much. And I'm gonna spin these together. I've got about four inches to work with. If you need to use your hackle pliers, go ahead. But I think I've got enough that I don't need to. And on this size 14, I think I'll get about four, maybe five wraps going up. Okay, I think that is a fine segmented body right there. This rib isn't really for color, it's just kind of to make it a little bit more durable and give it a little bit of segmentation there. So when you got your rib in, go ahead and snip this off. Now take a small slip of brown or natural duck. So I'm just using a little slip right here and it doesn't need to be wide, uh, less than a hook gap. So it's a, a pretty small fly. Let's just catch this in right on the top. couple of loose wraps for, and check our position before we really lock it in. And I didn't lock it in at all, I dropped it. But that's okay, that happens. Let's back that wrap off and then try this one again. Okay, I've got it caught in twice. Is it coming off the top? Yeah, I think it's coming off the top about like I want there. So a couple extra wraps going back. And then fold it over and see if that's going to give you the length you want. I uh, might need to go just a little farther back than that. I think right there is going to work. Yep, that's going to be the length of the, the wing case I want. So I'll just put a little more wax on and then a little bit more of that same dubbing for the thorax. Now I'll try to make my thorax just a little bit thicker than the, the body. It's just That's just kind of how the, the mayflies look. They've got a little bit more to them up front. Okay, I think that's going to be fine. It's a little buggy, but I don't mind that. Now the next component are the legs. So this is a, a partridge and this one's dyed brown. Uh, use natural if that's all you got. It's going to look fine. You just take the, a small feather and cut a little V-notch out of it. We're going to lay it in right on the sides and take a couple of loose wraps. And then check our position and our length. So those, that yeah, position's fine. It might be just a little bit longer than I want. So I'm going to try to pull it up just a little bit here. And if you pull it too much, you just pulled it all the way out, don't want to do that. So let's put it on and try it again. Check the position, position's fine, but I want it just a little bit shorter. There we go, that'll work. Now a couple of locking wraps here. And if your legs are going all over the place, you can most likely use this wing case to help position them. So don't worry about it if they're not perfect. Just try to push them off to the side and then fold your wing case over and that will help position your legs to either side. So after you get your wing case up, a couple of oh loose wraps to check your position there. And that wing case is going to be fine and those legs, yeah, they look fine. Got a little bit coming off the bottom right there. Let's see if I can adjust that before I lock it in. Yeah, that's gonna be good right there. So let's put a tight wrap here before we snip this off. We're gonna have a little bit of cleanup on this. This is not a Polly Roseboro fuzzy nymph, though how I've tied it, it is getting a little bit fuzzy on me there. So just push these back. We don't wanna crowd our eye. We wanna get a good head on here big enough to put a nice dollop of head cement. So take your thread right back to the eye and then ramp it right back up. Don't be afraid to have a, a decent size head. Okay, I think that head's fine. A four turn whip finish, we'll put a few more wraps on it to maybe hide some of that 
feather sticking through, we'll see. And I've got a little bit of cleanup. I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a second. Go ahead and snip that off. So I've got a couple of, oh, I think this is just my rabbit dubbing sticking out, some long pieces right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and snip some of these. And maybe just a little bit on this, see that bottom leg coming off? I don't really like that. So I'm gonna take a small, piece of that off and there we go got my legs coming off the side and the proportions look fine on this guy so there you go a pretty standard mayfly nymph this one's on blue wing olive colors so i appreciate you watching folks y'all take care and we'll see you next time